it was this time yesterday evening we were bringing you breaking news of a deadly shooting outside a Metro convenience store. Two people found with gunshot wounds near Check Hall Road and Reno. And 24 hours later, police are revealing new details surrounding the case. Investigators are now calling the incident a murder-suicide. News Force Natalie Clydesdale has the update. Well, police say Elizabeth Anderson planned to meet up with her ex-boyfriend Gavit Navit in this parking lot behind me here to return some of his belongings. However, the meeting took a violent turn. These situations are really difficult. A tragedy unfolding in broad daylight Thursday outside the 7-Eleven store near Check Hall Road in West Reno Avenue. Police swarmed the area around 2.30 in the afternoon. When they got here, um, they uh, located one male and one female victim both shot. Both uh, both victims were transported to an area hospital. Both 23 year old Elizabeth Anderson and 34 year old Gavin Navit died from their injuries. According to Oklahoma City Police, the two were once a couple and Thursday's meeting was planned for Anderson to return some of Navit's things. But that exchange turned violent and instead police say Navit shot Anderson multiple times before turning the gun on himself. While we are um, deeply saddened once again by this tragedy, unfortunately, we're not surprised. Brandon Paisley, one of the vice presidents for Oklahoma City's YWCA, says Oklahoma is ranked second in the nation for women being murdered by men in single victim, single offender homicides. His advice for anyone who finds themselves in a similar situation as Anderson is to reach out to an advocate, someone who can safely remove you from a dangerous situation. An advocate can help you make those decisions as an expert in lethality in the incidence of domestic violence homicide. We wrap around each other in support and hope for a future when things are better. Natalie Clydesdale, Oklahoma's News 4. All right, thank you. We reached out to 7-Eleven's corporate office and we are still waiting to hear back.